so they're all cleverly crafted you could see right through Hello? Hey man, uh, what are you up to right now? Uh, nothing much. Just uh, up and around, you know, getting that exercise in. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, so um, I'm actually calling you right now just... Um, well, I guess I'm just calling to let you know that my fish died last night. Oh no, not Dr. Fischenstein. I'm afraid so. Man, that sucks. I'm sorry, dude. Thanks. I mean, it was a goldfish, so, like, not really a big deal. Yeah, I, I guess. But anyways, I was thinking I'd have, like, a funeral for him and stuff. You know, mostly it's a big joke, but it would be nice to give him a proper send-off or whatever. Yeah, totally. Can I count on you to be there? Oh, yeah, for sure. Sick? Hey, are you alright, man? You sound a little bummed out. Oh, yeah, um... Linda... Linda broke up with me last night. Yeah, she just told me to meet at the park and broke it off right there. Did she give any explanation? I didn't think to ask in the moment. Hey, it sucks, dude. Yeah, but like, whatever, man. Hey, uh, what's going on with this funeral? So it's obviously gonna be a black tie event. Yeah, of course. I'm thinking it'll be like a potluck situation where like everybody brings their own food item. Yeah, seems legit. Yeah, I mean, I want it to be fun and stuff, you know? I mean, we can't bring it back to life, so why not at least try to bring back the vibes that were here while he was around? What'd you just say? Well, we can't bring it back? No, 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 after this. Why not bring back the vibes he brought? I think, I think I have an idea. You wanna do what? I've hatched a genius plan to win Linda back. All right, I'm gonna need you to take me through your thought process again, homie. All right, I don't know this for sure, but Linda probably left because she thought like our relationship was getting boring or stale, whatever. So if I can just remind her of all the amazing vibes we had together, she'll come back. I don't know, man. It seems like kind of a long shot. Maybe, but I think I got pretty good in. Okay. Because you're my best friend, and you seem really dedicated to this, I'll help you out. Just as long as it doesn't get in the way of any of the other stuff we've already got planned. Dude. Don't even worry about it. Dream it in the last time that you said you wanted to dance. Hello? Dude, I've called you like 50 times this morning. Where are you? I'm just at home relaxing. I gotta save my energy for later. Wait, the funeral's starting in 30 minutes. <sighs> Is that today? Is that t Yes, it's today. I've been trying to remind you like all week. Yeah, I'm, 
I'm not gonna make it to that. Are you serious, dude? I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm only able to seal the deal like today. Like, it's my last shot, end of the line, that's it. I asked you for one thing, man. Dude, I'm sorry I can't go to your stupid joke funeral. This is more important than you. Wow. Look, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to. Whatever, dude. Hey, on second thought, I don't even want you to show up. Doug. Have fun tricking your ex into dating you again, man. Thank you all for coming today. You know, I think it was Teddy Roosevelt who once said about death. So what do you say? Don't you think we should give it another shot? That was an incredibly elaborate and complicated display. <laughs> Thanks, I put a lot of effort into it. So, uh, about that answer? Listen. I remember the day so vividly. I was about 12 or 13 and I was just so excited to finally have a pet, you know? Even if it was just a fish. You know, it's funny, I was so excited, but I just couldn't think of a name. Actually, our... Uh, my old friend, actually, was the one who thought of the name Dr. Fischenstein. And that's what he was, you know? A friend. I mean, he was always there, and not just for me. For everything. I mean, I feel like we became who we are today, alongside each other. Really? Still no? After all that? Let me ask you this. Why do you even want to date me again? You know, because, like, we're, like, good together and stuff. Really? I just remember a lot of arguing. <laughs> what? No. I mean, we totally loved hanging out together. Why else did you come to all my karate tournaments? I never went to any of those. Oh, yeah. That was Doug. Uh, how about uh, the state fair? We had fun there, right? You didn't ask me to go with you. We were actually supposed to go see a movie, but you blew me off to go to the fair with Doug. Well, what about that, um... Oh, no, that was also with Doug. Archie, we didn't work well. I mean, it was fine and everything, but we barely had anything in common, and we never really spent any time together. Honestly, you were probably with Doug more than me while we were dating. Oh, God, what have I done? That's the thing about good friends. They stick around, no matter what. Someone might say something dumb, or you might drift apart, but it doesn't matter, you know? You get each other. So all the stupid little things that annoy you, well, they're only stupid and little. And when you let the stupid little things get to you, you end up regretting it. Because no matter how much you might think you loathe each other in the moment, still always been there for each other. And when one day you finally look up and one of you isn't there, well, it makes you think that maybe getting annoyed wasn't worth all the trouble. After a while, you just miss your best buddy. Doug, Doug! Wait. I'm so sorry, man. This was really dumb. It's cool, man. I don't want to not be friends. Same. Yeah, I'm sorry for not being honest with you about how annoyed I was getting with your plan. Dude, you, you hardly did anything wrong. Uh, I'm just sorry I got so obsessed with getting Linda back. She wasn't the one I should have been spending my time on.